This is Tavion, and this is my story corpse interview. So, what's your name, and where are you from? My name is Zachary Pilarski, and I'm from Michigan. How old are you? I'm 19 years old. And what brought you to Springfield? Job for my dad. He quit his job up in northern Michigan because he didn't like management there and he got a new one down here. What was your childhood like? Um, it's pretty chill. I just played outside a lot. Uh, didn't really go over to friends' houses too much. My parents were pretty overprotective, so I was just always playing in my yard or going to the lake, fishing with my dad. Sam, I used to do that a lot too with my family. Who were your favorite relatives growing up? Uh, probably my uncle Gary and my aunt Debbie. They lived, they had a pretty cool house. They had a swamp in the backyard, we built a zip line over it. It had a creek going through the swamp. Zip line went over all that. I love going there, shooting guns. It's pretty dope. What was your, what were your parents like growing up? Like really, really strict or? They were, they were really strict. Uh, I wasn't even allowed to say butt until high school and I just started saying it. Like, <laughs> that was pretty stupid. <laughs> Couldn't even say stupid. But yeah, my parents are really overprotective. Do you have like a first love? Mm. Uh, Why well, you gotta go asking me these things? <laughs> it's okay to cry, it's okay to cry. <laughs> I really like Pop Tarts. Pop Tarts. <laughs> what is your first memory of me? Uh, I just remember when my dad moved to Chesterfield Apartments. I was just for like a week, week or two, I was just skating by myself all day, every day, because I didn't want to be inside. And you were like the first person to come up, start talking to me, start chilling with me and shit. Ah, oh, not bad. <laughs> What is your earliest memory? Waking up. It's like, I don't know. Like your early childhood, no one remembers that. And I just remember for some reason one day I woke up and I was like, whoa. Like, I had no memory of the day before. And it was weird. It's black emptiness in my mind. Yeah. It's weird. I had the same feeling that. <laughs> Do you like your job? Yeah. It makes me think. Like, there's a lot of problems you have to solve whenever you're going through just based off of just based off of how the framers went up and put the house together sometimes they do a really screwy job and you got to work around it because you got to make the wiring to code and framers can make that difficult sometimes it's kind of annoying but i like it, it challenges me <laughs> did you get into trouble growing up um i did through elementary school like I was literally in the principal's office every day. I got sent to the responsible thinking classroom a lot. I stabbed a kid one time because he was messing with me. Got in a lot of fights. But the middle school hit. I calmed down. I wasn't getting in trouble anymore. I literally got in trouble like two, three times since I hit middle school. In school. And it wasn't even like bad, just teachers yelling at me or something real quick. I didn't get sent to ISS. I didn't get sent to the principal's office or nothing. So. Yeah, I can really... Tell me about how you got into your line of work. Uh, dude, I worked with a DG's. He left DG's, and he was an electrician, and he got a job at the company I work for now. And then literally after like a week or two of him working there, he found a different job that he liked more, selling Harleys and working on Harleys. And he just texted me. He's like, yo, you want a job other than DG's? I wasn't making the greatest money because you know, Sam was getting lazy and started closing more hours. I was working every hour open and I was still only pulling 25, 25 hours a week. I was like, that's not paying my bills. So I was like, hell yeah, I want a new job. And I ended up liking it. What type of music do you listen to? I listen to rap mostly and I dabble in some metal. <laughs> More than dabble, but I like metal and rap. 